Hey, yo, this is Uncle Buddha. Had a good time hanging out with my girl, Sue Ham. Check out part two of the interview coming up now. Our first round on me, and all beef get to cease tonight. No fights, all hype. Let the Buddha rat grab the mic. All the music in the air, lots of love in the you better give me the mic and let me show you how it needs to be done I'ma keep the party poppin' till you see in the sun Give me the mic, I keep them girls backin' it up Shakin' their kitty, blowin' sticky, put some yak in the door Give me the mic, DJ, put the record back on Let the players and the pimps in the house just Give me the mic, for my folk that scream Where the dollar at? Throw it up, for your Hey, Uncle Buddha's Neighborhood here with my girl Sue Ham Having a good time with this interview too, man Stage plays Yes, sir Oh, man, we went to that last one that you had Now, you know, you always used to invite me to stage play. <laughs> and I guarantee you got one coming up on my birthday in October. October 27th is your birthday? Every year. And that's when you do the play. <laughs> and that's why I could never make it every year. I was somewhere up with a hangover trying to get right for my birthday celebration. They'd be like, well, you know, Sue's hand played it there. I'm like, oh, God, I'm still in the bed. <laughs> And that's why I said this year I know you got another one on that stage. But you've day. seen this one. It's, oh, yeah, it's right. beautiful mind. So oh, it's, this, it's an that, encore. But that's what I want to talk about. Yeah, yeah. The stage plays. How do you come up with this stuff and how much time does it take to put a stage play together? Because that was a that was an awesome play. Thank I you, mean, man. everything was right on time. Everything was even even I was there with my brother TJ Films and we were looking at each other like, wow. And we just kept saying, This is nice. This is nice. This is real dope. Man, Beautiful Minds, to be honest with you, that one now, that took a little while because that's so precious to me con considering the topic about bullying and forgiveness, acceptance and mm -hmm. love, second chances. That one took a while. It, it actually like, stressed me out a little bit because I was just like, I need this to be right because mm -hmm. I wanted to reach people on so many different levels. But there have been times I've written a play in 36 hours. Wow. There have been times I've written a play in 48 hours. Beautiful Minds took me some months. Um, it was like the story was coming to me in bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. I'd, get, I'd get like certain pieces you know, in a day, then I wouldn't get anything else for three weeks. And mm -hmm. I was frustrated because I'm like, yo, where's the story? Come on. And then it'd be like a month would go by and mm -hmm. I get four or five more pages. And, um, but yeah, that one took me some months. I want to say maybe about six, eight months to write that story. And that's just the writing part of it. Yeah, that's that's not the casting. Because no. you had some, the actors, the people who were acting in this, were, were, you know, they were Local remarkable. people. Right. All local people. Uh, like, have they went to school or no. drama class? Or these are just people that you know that you these thought just, could fit this part? These are just people I knew. Um, I would look at them and I, it, it's... You know, I have this this ability to recognize talent, mm -hmm. and I can also tell if I can like work with somebody and help to cultivate that talent. And so, um, these are just people I've seen. I would look at them. I would listen to the way they talk, watch their body language, and I would ask, "Yo, have you ever acted before?" And they're like, "No." And I'm like, "Are you interested?" Because that's the biggest thing. If you're interested, then we can go to another level. Right. And they're like, "Yeah." And so, um, Maurice Perkins, uh, my business partner, mm -hmm. co-producer, we would just work with the actors and groom them. And I would take some of the stuff I've learned. And just for me, being an audience member, I it's just like, you know, I know what an audience should feel. So it's, I'm, I'm able to convey to the actors, this is how you need to give that delivery. Because I want the people in the audience to feel this. They should feel this way. You know, you ever been somewhere and you're watching something or you go to a play and it's supposed to be a serious moment, but the audience is laughing. Right. And that's because... You, the the actors are not giving it what it should be given because at any given moment a great actor should be able to take the audience on a journey mm -hmm. from I can, should be able to have you laugh in this moment upset the next moment afraid the next moment and you should be able to take them on that journey and, and help them to navigate but uh yeah man we just find our stuff our actors locally and I'm excited about that because again that's giving a platform to local artists, that's which is what, what you do. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I was about to say. Yeah. I think that's remarkable that you give a uh -huh. platform to your community at that. Mm -hmm. Like King Street, they came out. They were out there like, rah, rah, rah. You're like, it's King Street in the house. They are like, hey. And I, I think that's really special that you put your town on the map, no matter where you're from. You know, a lot of people leave small towns, go somewhere else, mm -hmm. and then they go, oh, you know, uh, Sue Ham, she made it big. Where you from, Sue Ham? Oh, I'm from New York City. <laughs> Never. Well, you know what I mean? When we know you're from a small town in South Carolina, the country but, baby and you rep that everywhere I go and that's what's really good about it everywhere I mean that's I what makes it real dope man that you rep in that town you know and I think the people they really love you for that too really I love, love the that. people man and the thing is whether I was at a uh, red carpet premiere for David Talbot's Almost Christmas. I was representing Williamsburg County. That's right. Whether I'm in Texas speaking alongside Les Brown, Williamsburg County. One of my favorites, Les Brown. You know, whether I'm going to the Steve Harvey show to shoot, I'm representing Williamsburg County, King Street, South Carolina. Because it, 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 
for me, and let me tell you why. I got goosebumps as I might say this. Let me tell you why. Because when I was growing up in the rural area, I thought that in order to be in Hollywood or to do entertainment, I needed to leave the leave. area. Mm -hmm. Or else it was never going to be possible. You got to go to New York or L.A. So. Right. And now Georgia, right? But back Georgia, when we were growing right. up, it was right. L.A. or New York. Mm -hmm. And now, right, because of the internet and social media and just a stronger belief in myself, God has like really opened up some major doors to where everything that we've talked about has happened right there in Williamsburg County, in King Street, South Carolina. Yeah. So how can I not represent? That's really like saying, yo, it doesn't matter where you're from, where you're living. It's all about you and how bad do you want it? Right. And, and you've inspired a lot of people, too, to follow their dreams. You yeah. know, I, I've talked to people, you know, that follow you that started doing things that they don't, you know, didn't think they, they could do. Mm -hmm. Even look at your sister, the, the the beauty school and stuff like that, you know, y'all are doing remarkable things together. So what's next for you? What's next? Well, you know, we just got our building for Sue Ham Entertainment. That's something I've been talking about for years. So we'll be able to do like interviews like this. You know, I got, you gonna Go, come I back out? Come you building. gonna come back out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. all I gotta yeah, do is come here next right? time, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna interview you though. Oh, that'd be awesome. All right, cool, that'd cool. cool. Uh, we'll be doing our classes, teaching people how to get their uh, plays written, how to get films written. Um, so many different things will be going down in there. We'll also have a call center where we're calling places to get into schools to, because uh, you know I'm real big on stopping the bullying, mm -hmm. uh, to get into schools and promote that. Um, we're actually going to start shooting short films. I'm mm -hmm. ready to do that now. I've got some scripts that uh, actually have placed in some um, film festivals, so I'm ready to actually start shooting that. That goes back to um, that big disappointment this week, mm -hmm. you know? Like, why wait on somebody else to do it when I can do it myself? Uh, James Brown sound like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> open up the door, I get it myself. So, um, and then also just pouring back into the community, um, starting a drama club and just showing, giving other people these, the, the knowledge to pursue their dreams. Mm -hmm. Because I know what it's like to want to go from point A to point B and not know how to do it. And I'm telling you, man, I did a lot of stuff by figuring it out myself. I lost a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I lost a lot of sleep, oh, yeah. a lot of time. That's the best way to learn. Yeah. Whatever it's hit the, you right there, you always learn. It's an expensive way. Okay. <laughs> and so I want to kind of like, um, you know, shorten the distance to success for the people that's coming behind me. That's dope. Yeah. And I like what you're doing too. We were talking earlier about your son. You know, I watched mm -hmm. him kind of grow up, man. Yeah. I like what you're doing with Jackson. And the clothing line, what's it called again? Jalone Fashions. Jalone Fashions. Yeah. Look out for that coming soon. Oh, thanks right? for that plug, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shoe ham, baby. And Buddha Rat. Hanging out today, man. That's what it is. Uncle Buddha's neighborhood. Thank y'all for tuning in. Anything else you want to say before we leave? I, I need to, um, you need to talk about your uh, your website and all that okay. so they can, you can get more followers real quick. Let them know how they can follow you before we bounce. Yo, connect with me at suham.com. Real simple. S-U-E-H-A-M.com. In closing, listen, I always want I encourage everybody to live, love, learn, and laugh. Don't quit. Follow your dreams to success. What's up, y'all? It's Uncle Buddha hanging out at the uh, iHeartRadio studios. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page, make sure you do that ASAP, Uncle Buddha's Neighborhood, all right?